Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Where... Ro, Ro, Rainy! Yeah! And today I am going to be creating this makeup look for you all. So, um, sorry I've been gone for like a month. Uh, my uploading, like, schedule is not very good, but I'm gonna work really hard and hopefully get out a one video per week. Yeah, um, uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, hit that bell notification button to get notified every time that I post. Uh, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up down below. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, if you want to see how to do this, keep watching. Okay. So, welcome to the bathroom. We're just gonna jump right into this using my e.l.f. Mineral Infused uh, Primer. So I'm just gonna squirt a couple pumps onto my hand. And I am going to use this brush from Eco Tools to um, apply that. Okay, next we're going to mix the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation with the, oh, in the shade Light Neutral and the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 120. So, um, I like, this foundation is quite, like, watery, so I like to mix it with this foundation, which is more of, like, a, you heard, it's a clay-based type of thing, so it adds a little more thickness. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so, I like to mix them. There we go. Oh, don't do that. And then I'm just going to take my, oh, my pre moisten Beauty Blender, mix those together on my hand, and apply that to my face. All over, including my neck. I'll be back when this is all blended. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Koki Professional Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm just going to draw little, like, triangle thingies. Under my eyes, a little strip down the nose, and just a little bit on my forehead, just to brighten everything. Okie dokie, so um, now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Master Fix um, Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. I don't even think this has a shade, but it's white. It's translucent. Very carefully. Okay, so now I'm going to take my mini beauty blender, which is what I use to blend out my concealer, and just dip it in here and apply that everywhere that I apply concealer. Now, I'm gonna let this bake while I'm doing my eyebrows. Um, and I'm gonna do those off camera just to save time. But my eyebrows are done and I'm just going to take a random brush and um, dust off that bake. Okay, mm, there we go. Now we're going to work on the eye. Here's my Morphe 
350 palette. Nature Glow. Natu yeah, Nature Glow. So, bum, ba -da -bum. Ooh, so pretty. So I am going to be using um, this shade as a transition shade. Um, this shade as a crease. This shade as a lid. And this shade for like some shine on my lid. And then I'm gonna take this shade and put it in my inner corner to get that inner corner highlight. <laughs> so. I'm really loving how my eyes look. Ooh. Sorry. Okay, so. Now that we're done with those, we're gonna move on to mascara because I don't do eyeliner. Oh, that was so sad, it's mine. So I'm just using the um, e.l.f. Volumizing and Defining Mascara in black. It's really good for um, like volumizing, like they said does add a lot of volume, especially to those lower lashes. I mean, can't miss them. So I'm just applying that. gotta be getting me okay well now I have to get rid of um that so I'll be right back <laughs> okay let's try that again there we go good job all right so now my mascara is on and I'm going to move on to blush. I'm just using the BI Beauty Intuition Contour and Highlight Palette from Five Below for $5. I know, pretty cool. I'm just taking that blush and applying it to the apples. I like this blush, it's subtle. It's bright pink in the pan, but it doesn't come off too pink which I like. I would rather have like a peachy one, but um, I don't have that. So I do indeed have this blush. It's like miniature, but it's cream blush and you do not apply cream on top of um, powder. So that's not gonna happen. even Ooh, a tea okay then for just a little highlight we're going back into that morphe palette and we're gonna dip into that shade that I use for my inner corner highlight and I'm gonna use this Farah Farah brush um, you can't even see it cuz it's too shiny whatever huh it's very eyeshadowy, but it's too big for eyeshadow and it's perfect size for blush, kind of. Um, so yeah, I'm just dipping into that shade that we use for the inner corner right there. And then I'm gonna spray it with some um, Master Fix setting spray. if. When I was doing the time lapse, I used this, so sorry if you didn't know what it was. That's what it is. Um, oh, mm. okay, just applied that. Now I'm gonna take a different brush 
This one is from Cala. I don't know. I used to use it for highlight, but um, it's not good for highlight. But it's good for blending it out. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, and then we're going to do that on the other side as well. See, this is the issue here, that this um, highlight that I'm using, it's an eyeshadow, but it's really not pigmented at all unless you spray it. But when I spray it, then it gets like splotchy. So um, I need to buy a highlighter that I can actually use on my skin tone. like my eyebrows <sighs> okay highlights on okay there we go so um now i'm gonna do lips i'm using the absolute new york um lip crayon in the shade i have no idea I got this in like a pack of three. I don't know. All that I know is that I like the color. Uh, uh. I like one of the other colors much better, but I lost the other two. So those aren't available right now. Uh, okay, and then I'm taking this lip gloss. I have no idea where it's from, but I have it and I like to use it. So, uh, ooh, tea. Okay, and I'm just gonna clean up around there. All right. So this is the final makeup look. I'll do an up close view for you. Oh, excuse my shirt, please. Oh, that blush is a little much. Hold on. Let's get that a little bit less um, there. I'm just gonna take a little bit of setting powder and take that blush brush and apply that on top. Just a thin coat, not enough to like completely cover it up, but enough to actually like, you know, cover it up. And I'm also gonna apply a little bit of that onto my lips, just cause I want them to be matter. And I know you might be thinking, oh my gosh, Aurora, you just applied a lip gloss. Of course, it's going to be glossy, not matte, but still. Okay, so um, that is that. Please, like this pimple. <sighs> so, mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... I'm going to change into some different clothes and actually show off the makeup look. I'm loving this eye look right now, though. Okay, so this is the shirt that I chose um, to go. And I realized I forgot to apply some setting spray. So, <laughs> this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for bearing with me through all of this um yeah i hope you enjoyed i love you Mwah.